Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are watching on YouTube, I am doing a podcast, so I'm trying this new format on recording my podcast and putting it on YouTube. If you're listening on a podcast, you you know that like I will have a like video on the thing that I get it out from the YouTube and put it on podcast. And one of the thing that I I want people to know, which is like. Making content doesn't have to be very hard because like this channel is all about like making uh, content and put it out there to help you guys and also uh, share what I have learned and also I want to talk about um, my journey to become um, advertising agency or like or controlling the um, communication on the modern way so I could build the business that I wanted to uh, to have in the future. One of the thing that I want to talk to you guys about, which is. Why it is very very important for most of the people to have a social media person, or you wanted to um, to be on the internet. Let's put it more simply. I will share like uh, my experience and why I believe everyone should have a social media person, regardless of why uh, or whatever that you wanted to do. And and also want to share my experience and in the past and the sales job that I have why. People are not doing it, and what do I think, and how you could do it? And um, one of the things that you can probably see right now is like I share my thought, and I uh, and I tape it in front of a camera, and then I put a YouTube. You know, that is one of the way which like before I even say anything. Okay, uh, the reason I think anyone should believe, or uh, I believe, or everyone should have a social media presence, is just because that um, it is a new way to communicate. With your customer, if you are like starting out your like career in terms of, as a sales professional, like I did, or you have been in the game for like uh, 10, 15 years, or you're just starting out like I was, and the thing is like you may be learning from the people that on the field. You think like they would know something. They make a maybe a million dollar per per year, and you want to be like them. That is nothing wrong with that. It's like a mentorship, right? But what sometimes you have to think, think in the perspective. Some people who have uh, internet have been probably been really, really around, have been become prominent and as a daily life of everyone, every person's life. It probably in the last, I would say, thirteen years. It's like two thousand seven, two thousand eight, since the social media comes along. Before that, people kind of still doing the old way, and they're doing the parallel with the. Uh, with the internet, even even today, it, it's kind of like that too. But the margin or the people aware of the advantage of being on the social media is like increasing, right? Because it, it's just become a prominent uh, part of the life. And if you really talk to some of the financial advisor, real estate agent, uh, like mortgage specialist, any person that sells, they basically still using the old way of doing the thing. Which is like the word of mouth. They still like putting the poster or like they go to meet up with their friends or like a local meeting and hopefully talk to enough people to tell them, give them a business card, and hopefully one of them would come to you. And that's all fine. I'm not saying like that those way didn't work in the past when I was a like, selling car when I was selling Lexus. I was a, I was a luxury car salesman. I was selling in Lexus in in downtown Toronto. And one thing that I realized that like. Um, a lot of people actually like not consuming product or understand product like what they used to be. Let me give an example. Like one of the thing that people do in the past is that when they want to understand, they want they want to buy a car, they want to go to a car dealership because like that is kind of one of the places that people could get educated about the new car or new feature and all those things. Because in the past, like um, the the way that you can access those information, you probably from magazine or from television. When you have t uh, television or magazine, the word or time is limited because, like, and on average, it's couple couple thousand dollar, even ten thousand dollar for every second to be on the uh, television. If if you're talking about magazine, magazine is a really have a lot of like space because if you see a magazine, they have to look like a magazine. Um, or very interesting. It means that they have need to put a lot of picture into it and different paragraph of very easy to read. If you uh, like a regular like a motor train magazine, that's like the format. If you're talking about a like, more serious subject, you can talk about like an economist. 
even like they don't have a lot of pictures that it's like all every page is all about words but they still using i think it's like four column um like uh format and also every word every column is about 35 to 45 word per uh per column they still have a limitation right but so what it means that it's like people in the past they have no way to get access to information that is very important it's very very important that the distinction you need to know so when you have no way to communicate with the customer so it means that like everything that's coming on the in, uh, on the magazine is uh, legit and very hard to like um, talk to a customer so you can and the one of the way that you wanted to like interact with your customers say like, you do advertising out there and because it's very expensive you can do it a couple times when you put out there and you attract people to go to your your thing either a seminar learning about cars or not not for it not cars like your financial product or like your real estate why buying houses is good why buy, selling houses is bad like you educate them like you the, tell, tell them about fair information and as a car for example like in the past you need to go to the car dealership to actually look at the car like i mean and how you see it in person sit it there and and all those stuff and mostly they are like they still present because like if without going to the car dealership you can't really get into the car right that that is one of the things still going to be true but the thing is like especially with luxury uh car buyer they they're more educated like i haven't seen a customer who would willing to buy a lexus they would not consider buying a mercedes bmw audi even maybe they have a preference but see because they're spending about fifty sixty thousand dollars for a small car they i mean uh, whatever car that they buy or even hundred thousand or uh, like an extreme case it's a million dollar right they want to make sure that uh, they get the fair share or like the information of the market that's why you see all the youtube channel always talk about um cars and stuff like that 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 is like the meaning of it right so and that's why like as, as uh, number one thing you can see the landscape have changed because the internet comes along like internet when it's come along so it means that like the production of um, information distribution is very very low i mean i mean i think i read some article from back in 1993 uh, i think bill gates uh, famously famously talk about the internet is the multimedia fax machine I mean if I mean for those people who are not aware of fax machine which is in the past we actually send information through um, telephone cable like which was the original internet was all about too in the past like when you see all those acts like you you will probably like uh, I mean you, you, because you know that the internet is like uh, the computer is a diring to it uh to the machine out there they're like, using the landline and people cannot call you and i mean you if you are like my age like, about like uh, early 30s like your parents know that you're using the internet because every time that they call the house number and they know that um they cannot get through and they hear the weird noises you know that like they know you know they know that you're on the internet but back in the day internet is pretty expensive too i think it's a by the minute or something like that and when the time that the parents are final they're kind of mad and you have no way to know because like as you don't know they call because their phone never ring and all those kind of things all those stuff okay um so fast forward to like 2020 20. so internet is everything is mature now even like the hardware like we have the, all the like uh, all the things set up on the on the world like i don't know like the probably putting some cable like uh, stuff like that across the pacific and stuff like that. I, I, i'm not an engineer i don't know but what i know that is like we get the hardware done and then we are having a software that is complete the task which is like we have a like facebook youtube instagram social media so the cost of like make uh, spread spreading the information is a lot lower than it used to be like uh did you remember that in earlier in the video i was talking about in the past only a couple people can put their message out there that's why every time that they put their message they need to be sales otherwise i i mean you can't afford to always put a little branding and all those stuff onto the internet and talking about the old ways of like 
um, getting you famous and selling stuff. And I, I, I mean, I study business and I love business and stuff like that, right? And I remember that I, I listened to Tony Robbins, not like I'm a big fan of it, but um, you know, because he's more like a sales person and guy, I, 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 I'm not really, really liking like selling stuff and on the internet, like uh, just for the sake of selling it. And just especially selling information product. I'm definitely not a big fan of selling information product. I'm not saying that, you know, I, I hate Tony Robbins. I, I'm probably, I mean, I, I think he does a very good job. He's very good and help a lot of people. But maybe the product is not, I'm not a big fan of his product. Let's put it this way. So um, he explained that how did he become a one of the household name in America? The reason is like, I think he said in the, back in the 80s, like, and he actually put, he knows that there's a couple TV channels out there. He uh, three or four of them. Let's say, for example, I, I don't know. I I mean, back then I I was not born yet, and okay. So back then it's a three or four channel. So what he figured out that if he can pay enough money to get into the like TV channel or the network, they uh, everyone could see him. And because in the past it's only a couple channel that you can communicate with people. And those people who keep it by the gatekeeper or the access to the or the on the information out there is like uh, but uh, but the gatekeeper so people assume most of the thing that you see on the like TV and it's kind of legit right so that's why when he have enough money to put it out there and you probably um, probably like get in front of a lot of people and he can sell a lot of people I mean I mean, if you really look at a lot of different part of the world, a lot of the places are like that too. Like in Korea, Japan, China, Hong Kong, it's East Asia. Asia is like that. They're still controlled by those like rich people and main access to there. But like, um, like, and a lot of people just don't like that because like they can, they're just controlled by a couple of those people who been maybe born earlier the more early success and the suppressing the people and the younger people though those are the things that is happening in East Asia right um, but what I'm trying to say the main point is that in the past those people figure out the game whoever can get on the internet would win I mean not sorry whoever can get on the television would win in the past and um, not even that not long ago like the big brand all they did is like they spent maybe like 80% or 70% of their like a uh, part of budget on advertising so they would be able to like get in front of everyone it's kind of in in advertising they talk about like awareness or even in some as investments so it's like the peace of mind that's one Buffett's always talk about they talk about that if you have a peace of mind of your customer you're gonna win what, what does that mean by peace of mind if I want to watch a movie and um, if I'm picking a movie for my daughter I would probably think about some animation when I think about animation either I think of Disney or Pixar I uh, actually they're the same company now I know I mean uh, probably Disney and Jim work I think is if they are still the independent company but anyway um, but the point is I those two options come on my mind those are the peace of mind and when you get that peace of mind you would have the advantage because like i will start looking for movie about disney what they produce and i mean maybe even if i like down the road just come across with the japanese like uh, animation or stuff like that like if i'm lucky enough or discover that but like if i didn't dig big enough and i didn't really uh if i didn't really get into the like japanese stuff i would just buy like a disney to my to my daughter so that is like the piece of mind that he talks about and uh, like i said in the past like those big company or even in today the those big company they mainly achieve that big piece of like a peace of mind is by having the product like widely distribute and people talk about and advertising that's gonna go hand in hand you don't know I mean I, I cannot tell you which one come first this could be a product widely available people are aware of it and then they advertise it and all those kind of like public relation and stuff like that but like, the, the point is like you need to be be present you need to be aware by the customer right that is one of the thing that like you need to do to become um, very successful or, or 
like uh, in the in the age of like in terms of business and stuff like that right so another thing that like people don't realize the importance of the um to social media which is in the past like you you have like i said you have to pay a lot of money but when the social media come along internet comes along it, the availability it's just everywhere like everyone could literally to put out a video like this and put it on the podcast or even maybe putting it out on the like internet like whatever thing that you can get go viral even you're not going viral you can i know building up your portfolio or like a profile like a step by step so you would be able to like have an audience and you can like even sell to them if you build relationship like the old 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 stuff like like when you have an investment advisor or like insurance agent that help you like a um what's called the state farm the slogan saying uh you like your good neighbor that is the same thing i mean you want to build up your connection or like access to those people to build up the peace a peace of mind or um i mean or you want to educate them why it has to be you over the other person out there because like I mean, if you are a sales professional, if you're like selling financial product, I mean, one of the things that you will see all the time is that like you have a, a person that's like 50 or 60 years old, they have all the customers, the people come find him and this guy having a very good relationship with the other person and then he get referral, he just doesn't have to do anything. He's just like, he knows his stuff and he may be like, like build a relationship back then and oh then let all the ball rolling right and that's why i said a lot of young people when they start you know of the industry they're so pissed and no one tell them what to do right so i'm trying to like do it out here to give my insight and what i think and what my experience is and what everyone could do um with the their situation right so if you want to break that you definitely have a tool which is called social media because you don't have to like talk to any gatekeeper you don't have to have to any money and you all you need to do is that uh, you have to know at least what you're talking about and you can um, engage with people that in on your niche and you can talk to them and engage with them and create some meaningful content you can keep the attention and when you answer some of the most common questions that's out there like what i'm doing right now i'm explaining um, why social media is important because like most people think that it's just like a crazy thing that the daughter is on they're like uh, maybe son is on and they will never see as a tool because i think it just simply is a bad model to look at because they are looking at it as a let's say a toy or a tool that they play with i mean maybe as i give you a very um good example which is like if you look at those movie like a disney probably one of those disney movie you see hey um the the main character always want looking for like maybe the the best ass what happened to like beat the enemy and and stuff like that to go to the end of universe and all those stuff and they and they discover that hey you know what i like there's a the thing that the most powerful is actually the toy that you're like a five years old like a five months old playing with and you cannot it. it's just because like yeah you know what i thought i'm going to all those trouble to go to one of this like the the end of the universe to get the, the most powerful thing but you know it's actually just always out there right and kind of like it's how, how human being is like uh it's funny they always think like the thing has to be very hard for them to value them right so actually some of the things that they can easily get it they're not very valuing them rather they have to look at to learn what it is and what is the model and how they can use it and and instead of like just looking for next best things that is what this topic is all about i want to like share my experience with all those like sales sales experience that i have is like um to hopefully change your mind on social media and how you build up your content you communicate with your uh, audience when you communicate your audience you're always going to like head and shoulder above everyone else right and 
like I mean I probably haven't uh, I, I talk about uh, the contacts that are out there and like I said uh, I always see that uh, I mean I always see that like there's so, uh, must be some way that I can break through when I was back in the day like selling stuff right because like a lot of the old people they just don't have any maybe logical way they haven't even think about it they could not talk about it, but they could do it and maybe they know how to talk to that person to make them side things and stuff like that and it's very it's actually it's very hard out there to just learn it on the field it's just because a lot of people just don't know what they're talking about uh, even they have to do it they, they don't know how to teach you how to do it you just have to be looking at it sometimes you just don't like even they're looking at it you can replicate right so my advice for anyone that was starting out and any like sales related business or stuff like that you need to build up your social media profile at least when you upload your thing on the social media your friend and family knows what you're up to know what you're talking about why is it better but I mean so people would know uh, what you're all about and they can find you that that's one of the function of uh, of social media right and also one of the thing that you want to do as a salesperson that's why you don't want it to always changing different selling different things you don't want to like today you sell insurance tomorrow you sell cars today I mean the day after you're selling like Hyundai and then you tell Toyota because people won't always want to know um, your perspective on particular things and know who you are and, and stuff like that right so and I think social media have this function that could like inform your friend when when you put yourself out there if we agree on putting yourself out there then second thing that you need to be or you need to do or agree on which is a what are the thing that you need to put it out there most of the thing um, would have trouble on this and I think the the thing that people need to put it on the social media is like the your salesman your salesmanship put it on the internet like in the past if I mean all common things that every salesperson have to know is that what are the common questions that people have when they come to you like when I was selling uh, Lexus and Toyota time People always ask, to always say that you know why I need to buy a Toyota. Honda is also same reliability, right? So you would have a, a like a stock answer or a couple of them to say why Toyota is better than Honda. It's just because it's more reliable, and more function, and like people like it, and more safe, and all all those stuff, right? It it depends on the product, and if you have. If you know what is the common questions and what's the common answer, you can actually put it on the internet, and put it on the uh, on on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and you can make about this fact always like on different format. If if say let's say um, Toyota better than Honda because the Toyota have a softer sup suspension, it's more like comfortable ride, and and it's also usually in the same style, same class of car like uh, Corona and and Civic that usually Toyota is a bigger size car at the tad bigger it's like you probably get about this much room and stuff like that so that's one of the advantage if people value like comfort over like speed and stuff like that like Toyota definitely better choice you can see like uh, Toyota actually put I mean Honda actually put like VTEC in all of the car even the, uh, like if, if you don't know what VTEC is basically when you drive your car really really hard you get extra power it's kind of like a turbo but without a turbo but like actually Honda now they put turbo in almost all of the car if they're not V6 is a full cylinder so it means that they're more like sport focused that's why this the suspension is more like a uh, sport tune if you are looking for comfort Toyota is definitely a better car and because they uh, they also last longer it's like if you optimize for like sport, sporty performance you definitely won't be uh, as reliable as Toyota that's the stock answer if you have an answer like this you should make a piece of content and put it in, on the internet and then uh, as a video right and you want to make a micro content about uh, probably why you 
like uh, put in picture and format and and when people at the time maybe they're not thinking about buying anything but when they actually like maybe considering because they consume a part of your content and remember you they were looking at you or like the interesting cars they will probably like always look at what you feel on the new cars like new mclaren new toyota or anything that's the thing like you would if you do that you actually create the effect that old people that have been on the field for a long time because they're known like they're well known within that field within that community that's what um, it's a good about social media and because in the past like, you need to actually go out and just cost a lot of money social media can help you do this without like too much of the cost and the t uh, you can save a lot of time because you can uh, you don't have to repeat the same argument and talk to the same person every single time because you can make one video and, and, and you can go out to every single one right so it basically it further it, it makes you omnipresent it makes you available to a lot of places all at once at the same time that is the good about the <laughs> the social media and also that's where people consume the content like for better or for worse everyone like consume the news by curation by other account on instagram or for facebook they look at information and they think that their audience like this news and they put it on their facebook page or instagram and people consume that page and and they would get the information sorry and you want to be that person that curate the content so if you uh writing on the knowledge of some news that are out there and you curate the content people will like you it's just like you're dj you're djing on the news and for your customer if you like if the customer like the music or the thing that you do you uh, the way that you dj you would think that you are very good and you would be having the peace of mind and then you would be able to like uh, sell them product or they come to you you don't even have to do anything you can of course you can uh, do a conversion and saying that hey you know what if you want to know this and do this you come to this uh, event and stuff like that when you do this and you you can come to and the other places and, and, and stuff like that right so that is why i think every person should have a social media presence especially for those people who was just starting out and they are confused which most of the people who are probably watching this video what it's all about because if you found your way already you probably don't like need to think about the social media person if you do like good for you you're always improving you are one of the better guys that's out there I, I believe that you would crushing it because you are taking the time you're thinking about it by thinking about it you know your acting was your acts gonna be different that is my story that's what I understand um, why social media is very important and I think you should do it and if you think you need to watch more of my content and to understand more to see why to see my growth as a proof you you should subscribe to my channel or you can subscribe to my podcast and and i would show you how i done it and i'm going to do it and the the format and and all those ways and and stuff like that right so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and share with your friend and if, um and yeah if you if that's it, let me talk to a guy next time.